We are back at it again here with another video with Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. All I ask for in return is for you to smash that like button to let me watch this video. Helps out the YouTube channel and lets me know you appreciate the time and effort I put into making these videos. So here we are with MULN stock pulling downwards, but it wasn't the only stock pulling downwards. The overall market did as well, and the SPY did. And our spy bot since 10:45 a.m. sent out a bear indicator, and from that moment forward, put options were up two to three x within hours. And this is our new release that allows us to have an edge within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities, whether stocks are going up or going down. You can now gain access to it as well and receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets and join the members using it to maximize in either direction. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to the spy bot, our newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way to receive that clarity and edge within the volatility in either direction. So here we are with MULN stock pulling downwards, as I stated earlier in the video, sitting sideways, and we're going to break down some key levels to watch going into tomorrow and the rest of this week. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. So these are the three stocks I mentioned this morning. Every single one of them jumped up 3 to 5%, 5 to 10%. But the home run of the day turned out to be AT&M. We caught this one in the pre-market under a bear indicator shifting downwards into weakness. Towards the bell, it continued. And on 42 Vision, it hit that level of extreme weakness, white with red borders, shifted back up into strength, got that bull indicator as an extra layer of confirmation, and hit a highest point of 30% plus, guys. If you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. We look forward to having you join us. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with MULN stock sitting sideways after having that run. And it did a full transition from white with red borders towards green. We had talked about that in yesterday's video. And we needed to watch closely if things would transition back up or if they were going to start going downwards. And right now we've went from bright green to red. Things are kind of holding up here, trying to find a support. And that's what we're going to talk about here in today's video. And we're going to look at the four hour and the one day. But let me pull up Ultimate 42 Vision, the bull and bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 Vision indicator, getting connected to the SPY bot, the QQQ bot, our newly released Tesla bot to receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down and you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving that clarity and edge within the volatility. So here we are with MULN stock. It went from a bull indicator to a bear indicator. So this has been canceled out and we talked about that in our previous video. If this got canceled out here, this was going to determine if things were going to go into further weakness. Now, for this to actually cancel out this bear indicator, we need full strength here to retest these highs, break through these resistance levels, and get a bull indicator in the process. So we're going to zoom in here and look at these key levels in just a moment. But let's talk about what's going on and transitioning on the 4-hour. So on the 4-hour, we've been under a bear indicator since $2.51. Things started to go back up. And I stated there is some strength here. But we need a bull indicator to negate this bear indicator. If it jumps up, comes back down, and continues, then throughout this whole volatility, this was all a fake out or a dead cap bounce or trying to form a double bottom effect, and it did not work, right? When you see that W forming there, it did not work, and that bear indicator has been dominating over the chart, and a specific level has been met within the chart's levels to determine why this popped up here and did not get negated by a bull indicator the only way it could get negated is if it bounces back up breaks through resistance levels a bull indicator pops up 
within that reversal and that strength and this gets canceled out that's not what happened so far so i talked about that i even anticipated it as things continued to go higher and on the four hour we were seeing it go higher but no bull indicator and quickly we've reversed back down if this continues downwards with red bars or white with red borders we can eventually see further weakness okay because it is under a bear indicator so when you pull up the one day though the transitions have been sideways okay sideways action here okay when you look at it if you just draw an arrow sideways this has been in the volatility to the sideways action now this bull indicator since way down here at one dollar and 17 cents has been dominating the chart but there's one thing that has been a little bit different here in this most recent pullback and it's the fact that quickly it has shifted when it went back up back down because if you zoom in this is actually a smaller bar than the previous one and this could create the beginning of a further pull down if these bars continue to become larger and larger than the next one and excuse my terrible drawing but just to show you guys the whole entire representation and visual effect something like this if that was to continue over here after this bar we could eventually see dark green with red borders and possibly a red bar followed by a possible bear indicator that can negate this bull indicator because if that happens this will be negated now if it does not happen and we do not see that bear indicator pop up even though there's volatility and it's going back down and it tries to pop back up well then this bull indicator is still in play still dominating over the chart and this is all a setup before the next bull run or just volatility but support has been found because you could see it's been holding above those key support levels which we're going to talk about now in the 30 minute and break it all down so on the four hour we have been under a bear indicator something to watch on the one day still bull indicator and within the volatility we went from a bull indicator getting negated to dominance over the chart with a bear indicator so let's talk about here the key resistance and supports so today's low was 242 super important to watch because it broke a little bit below the key level from yesterday 243 if those two get broken through again the next level is down here at 236 and then in between the lowest point is 230 and all the way back down here to 215 and below 215 we have two dollars those are the key levels to the downside but in the overall picture to see real strength here from the move upwards and coming back down to this consolidation is to not see this stock go below two dollars now to the upside we want to see this break above 280 this is a super important point yesterday's high was 285 but 280 is a key point to watch and if it could break above 280 the next level would be up here at 313 314 give or take and the most recent high of 344 but honestly anything above three dollars is a strong move we want to see support above three and work its way up to the 340s and the recent high of four dollars plus those are the key levels to the upside and to the downside that i will be watching and to receive clarity within the charts check out the link down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected to the spy bot the qqq bot our newly released tesla bot and there's many more bots on the way to get connected to the discord it sends us direct notifications to give us that edge and clarity within the charts and you can receive this edge and clarity that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on the opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down you can now gain access to these resources and join the members using these resources receiving that edge and clarity within the volatility to the markets whether stocks are jumping up going down bearish or bullish no FOMO, no chasing, just focused on what really matters and maximizing within those moves. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.